The final group stage match of the International Cup is now upon us. The teams then, Brazil against Germany. I'm John Champion, Jim Beglin is here alongside me. And now a moment to cherish as the national anthem rings out. So, Jim, how do you see this fixture unfolding? It'll be interesting to see how much of the ball their key players will see. We are off and running. Now he's ready for a shot. It's in. He gets his team off to a flyer. Oh, this early goal augurs so well for what's to come. Now the opposition must respond and it could serve up a really open attacking game. And no one could deal with the pass and a great finish to follow too. And when the ball through is that good, there isn't much a defence can do. That's as incisive as it comes. They've scored a goal so early in the game. Well, for me, they're really up for this. I know it's still early, but that's how you start a game. Here's Enones. It's opened up nicely for him. Alexander Pato cuts it out. And now the counter-attack. This could be interesting. Can he now find a finish? That was a super ball in. Oh, such a good ball to get him through. Showed real vision and awareness then in trying to pick him out. Now Neymar. He can surely line one up here. Oh, that had everyone fooled. I thought he showed real composure in creating the opening for himself, but it was a bit of a waste in the end. Plays this forward. Slides it through. It's come through to him. A great save by Julio Cesar. He so nearly exploited that mistake. He sends it in. Header! Just off target. Well, he couldn't have hit that any better. And any other time it would have sneaked in. That would encourage another try, though. Nearly reached the half hour mark. Neymar makes the interception. Adriano. 
Here's Alexander Pato. Challenge poor. Foul called. Adriano. Here's Alexander Pato. Here's Enones. Try to play it through. Only one goal in it here with five minutes remaining before half time. He's latched onto it, picked it off. Now Neymar. He's going it alone. Could be a chance now. And he'll shoot here. And the keeper's there to claim it. The referee blows his whistle to signal half-time. Yeah, they're slightly lacking in the goal-scoring department, but they've played well overall. Just a bit unlucky, perhaps, to go in down at half-time. I think there's no reason for them not to bounce back. Just the one goal separates them, then. It's 1-0. Brazil against Germany. He's got in. Here's David Luiz. Shoots. Mats Hummels. The ball's with Ozil. Offside the decision that time. Now the chance! Again the keeper's up to it! Oh, that's a stunning save. I mean, his reflexes were incredible then. That's as good a save as you'll see. No, didn't quite get the distance he wanted on it. Here's Mesut Ozil. They're off on the counter. Here's La. Got it. Here's David Luiz. Clever ball. It's true. Can he shoot? Sloppy pass. Intercepted. And at this point, both managers are thinking about making changes. It's only substitution time. Some slick passing on display. What can they make of it? Through ball over the top. Loses out in a position of some promise. Here's Schweinsteiger looking to thread it through. It's cleared. Chance. And a shot here. Oh, he wasn't far off from levelling matters. Yeah, he was just a little too eager to get his chance away there. And it could have levelled matters. Ball in. Keeper coming in and making the catch. Ganso. A really impressive run through. Adriano. Desperately needs some support. A narrow one, a fragile one, certainly vulnerable still. And La. No, it was cut out. Here's David Luiz. Here's Ganso. So that's it. The final whistle. It could be a defining moment in the manager's career. Defeat means the end of the road, and maybe for him.
Listen, they had plenty of time to overcome the setback, but for me, they never quite had enough invention in their play to get back into that one.